So, you have a 3D model of a phone or smartwatch or anything with a screen, and you want to replace the screen with your own animation, and you don't know 3D software. Hey, and welcome to Solven FX. In this episode, the latest in a mini series of mine looking at After Effects' 3D features, I'm going to walk you through the steps needed to create a 3D Luma mat and then use that with a 3D or 2.5D solid to replace the screen. All of this is assuming you're not comfortable with 3D software or 3D modeling and just need an easy approach. You will need to install Blender, the free open source 3D program, but we won't be using it much. So, once you've done that, head over to a website you like that has 3D models for download. I'm using Sketchfab and found this awesome Apple Watch Ultra 2 by Polyman Studio. And no, I'm not being sponsored by Apple, although if anyone from the Apple marketing team is watching, hit me up. I will completely sell out for a free Apple Watch. Open Blender and drag a box to select the light cube and camera, and delete them. Then go to File, Import, GLTF, and navigate to your downloaded model and import it. This watch is tiny, but it doesn't really matter, so you can just use the mouse wheel to scroll in. Although we're now going to switch to the shading tab, and you'll have to do that again. If you hold shift and click drag with the mouse wheel button, you can reposition the model until you can see it again. In the outliner panel, this thing, expand each line until you see this icon. That's a material. Click on that, and the node panel springs to life. All we care about is the material output node. So using the add menu, select input RGB, which adds a basic RGB node. Set it to black, and click drag its color pin to the surface pin on the material output. And if you like at this point, rename the material to pure black in this box. Now in the upper panel, Drag a selection box around the whole model, and hold Ctrl and tap L to open this menu. Then choose Link Materials. You've just swapped every material on the model for your pure black one. That's the first stage of our Luma mat. So for the screen, click on it in the upper panel. Then in this drop down, select any other material, and you can rename this to pure white if you like. But all we need to do now is go to Add, Input, RGB, and make it pure white, and link this to the Materials Material Output Surface Pin. There, if your model is similar to this one, that's all you need to do in Blender. Hey folks, Editing Cactus here. After using this technique on at least a dozen models, I downloaded the Game Boy model you saw at the start and discovered that that model does not use multiple materials in different sets of polygons. I was able to add a plane mesh and line that up for the screen, but that is using Blender a lot more. If you want to learn how to get started in Blender, then check out my playlist Blend in FX, which is designed for After Effects users to learn Blender's basics. But I just thought I'd better point out what to do if you can't select the screen independently of the rest of the model. Okay, back to the other me. So just go to File, Export, GLTF, and save it alongside the original, with a name like Screen Mat or something a human might actually say. And close Blender, and jump into After Effects. Import both models, and make a comp and camera. If you're not sure about those steps, take a look at my step-by-step -step guide video. And we don't need the Screen Mat model turned on, so turn it off and we won't get these 3D space conflict lines. Next, go to Layer, New Null Object. And hit Enter and rename this to Controller. And make it 3D. Then parent both models to it. We'll drive any animation from here, and it will keep both models in sync. Also, we need this step because later we're going to have to pre comp some layers, and not rendering a null object is a lot less taxing than rendering a copy of a 3D object. Let's now create our screen replacement. And for the Apple Watch, it apparently has a resolution of 410 pixels by 502 pixels. So I'll make a comp 410 wide by 502 high. 
This will keep everything in proportion and I will use this comp for the screen animations. So just add a handy solid or TV bars preset I made one board Sunday afternoon. And yes, you can download it from the description. And now, just drag it into your 3D comp and make it a 3D layer. So two things to note. One, 2.5D solid, that 2D layer in 3D space, intersects the model, which is cool and very useful. And two, when using in a comp using the advanced 3D renderer, layers in 3D space cannot have track mats applied to them, which is the opposite of cool and very much not useful. Let's park that annoyance for the moment and line up our screen pre-comp. Using the view menu, switch the comp to two views and set one view to left. And the watch model is at an angle. So use the rotation controls on the controller layer to make the screen vertical. And then use the 3D gimbal thingies on the screen layer to position it where the watch screen is. Which might need a little fine adjustment. Next, scale down the screen layer until it is just larger than the bezel. And once it is scaled and positioned to your liking, make the screen comp a child of the controller null object. And you can go back to one view and with active camera. Okay, so with a bit of quick keyframing, you can see we already have something quite effective. But obviously the corners are a problem. Now if we select the screen layer and go to Effect Channel Set Matte and select our Watch Matte layer and use the luminance for the matte, you can see we do not get anything close to what we need. That's because we have a 2D effect being applied to a 3D layer. And you can see how it is supposed to work if I add another copy of the screen comp and apply the effect again. And you'll notice we've also got an imperfect matte even when we do that. So I'll delete the copy of the screen comp and turn on and solo the map model. And now I'll expand its compositing options on the timeline and set to off all three of the properties. No shading, only the pure white and pure black materials. And I'll go ahead and turn off the layer again. Back on the original screen pre-comp, I'll delete the set matte effect. And now I'm going to make a copy of the entire composition. From the project panel, select the comp and then go to edit, duplicate. Open this duplicate comp and delete the models. Then right click on the comp title and choose undock panel and drag it above the timeline. Expand the transform properties for the controller null and use the pick whip to link to each property of the copy of the original. Then repeat for the camera. Normally, I'd use Video Copilot's excellent free script 3D Precompose, but it threw an error. It is an older script and maybe the 3D stuff has changed or maybe I just needed a second coffee. No, not that type. Although if you'd like to, like Ansi Lamanen did, then I'm not good at this stuff, but thank you, Ansi. Once everything is linked, you can close the duplicate comp. Then bring it into the main comp and turn off the screen layer. So now we have a 2D layer which can respond to our Luma map model. And it even has track mat options. But I'm going to stick with the set matte effect so that I can also add a glow from the screen. With the layer selected, go to Effect, Channel, Set Matte. Set Take Matte From to our 3D Luma Matte. Set Use for Matte to Luminance and then go to Effect, Stylize, Glow, and set Composite Original to On Top. And for my case, I'm setting the radius to 30, but that does depend on the size of the model in frame. Then there you go. There's loads of steps that make it feel intimidating, but the reality is everything is pretty simple. We did have to edit a model, but just barely. We did have to manually line up a layer in 3D space, but the control and L parent helped manage that. And we did have to make a pre-comp to handle the mat correctly, but even that wasn't difficult. If you have any questions or get stuck, drop me a line in the comments as always. And let me know if you like this series. Do you want more detail or for me to talk about other aspects of 3D? 
Or are you just screaming at the screen? Get back to Nebula's, space boy.